be uh, careful about uh, you and I'll be there in spirit regard to come back. Right. Uh, there, there's another question here, uh, which is a comic uh, that speaks about uh, paternity. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, paternity. Wow. Uh, I, mean, uh, I think, I think is, the whole question uh, is, is, is the comic about, about fatherhood and how do you see fatherhood and is this something to uh, fear? Uh, is something uh, para se temer ou se ou nos entregaremos lá. Is, is this something to fear or we should uh, give ourselves to the witches uh, with pleasure? <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I wanted to write a comic that was really honest about the fears and, you know, anxieties of being a parent. So witches is easily one of the most personal comics I've ever done. It's, it's meant to say it's okay to feel like you're failing all the time and it's okay to fail at times at being a parent just because the images you have and the kind of idealized versions of parenthood that you see on TV a lot of the time or in movies or even the way you see your own parents in retrospect, you know, is impossible to live up to and to forgive yourself for the bad moments. I mean, I certainly can think of times I was not the best father. To write about that in a way that would say, Oh, define connection. connection. Yeah, I, Yannick I, Clark too. You, you know, I have, I have, I have tattoos drawn by him. This is Yannick. I, I loved, I loved doing Swamp. I would go back to Swamp thing in a second. I'm going to move closer to our thing here. Is that better? Can you hear me okay? Kind of. Uh, I can That's hear like you, right on top but of the, the image so is pretty bad. It should be better if there's... If there's uh... I, I love writing about the court, but we put them in metal a little bit, and they were in, um, you know, uh, Endgame that I did. So I'm trying... I don't like to go back to things that I did before. You know, unless I'm getting to the end. So they were in last night with uh, with Greg, the last Batman story. So I don't have big plans for them right now. But, I mean, the one character I do really miss that I wish I had written more about is the leader, Lincoln March. I had a story for him, and I didn't get to it because I felt like I should write about new stuff. So maybe one day. What What are you writing for DC right now? How many How many books are you currently writing? Well, I'm writing <clears throat> Death Metal itself is seven issues long. And then there are about 10, like, there are specials that go with it that are like one shots. And then there, there might be tie ins. I'm not really sure. It depends on how things shake out with um, the industry on the other side and where things are. So I'm working on those seven, so the seven issues, about two specials. And then I can't say what's coming after Death Metal, but there's something really cool coming after Death Metal that I'm working on for DC. So, and American Vampire. So, I have a lot of right. a lot of DC stuff right now, but um, a lot of indie stuff as well. Awesome. Uh, do you have uh, any idea to maybe return to the Wake universe someday? Love Lee and her dolphin. Yeah, we Sean and I talk about it a lot. We we had an idea for. A return but he's so busy with a lot of his stuff and he's launching a new book i mean he's doing great so i think we'd probably it would probably be if we wound up expanding it for tv or film we go back and and do it that way um just because we have so many comic things we're working on on the side now so yeah uh ba -ba -bum. Batman game is my favorite, one of my favorite. What was your inspiration for the Deus Ex Machina, Ex Machina connection? Oh, uh, for the for Duke. Uh, uh, I think it's for uh, Duke. Deus uh, the Ex signal. Machina. Uh, can you hear me? Well, with him, we really wanted to. We really wanted to can create you? some. Yeah, I can hear you. 
It was for Duke, the okay. character that was uh, the signal. It was like, what was your, in uh, what was your inspiration for Deus Ex Machina connection? Uh, wait, which connection? I'm not sure what, which that was. <laughs> Do Deus Ex Machina or Deus Ex Machina? I don't know. Deus Ex Machina. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what. I'm not sure what. I don't know is. either. I mean, I know what a, I know what an ex, a, ex, a Deus Ex Machina is, but I'm not sure what the. Oh, in Endgame, in and maybe they're asking yeah. about the, in Endgame. That's what they said. Yeah. Uh huh. Oh Endgame. well, the idea was supposed to be. If I'm getting this right, forgive me if this is. I'm answering a totally different question, but if you're asking what I think you're asking, then the idea was basically that. Um, Joker deeply believes that life has no meaning. Our version of Joker, that everything you do is just to think that your actions matter is a joke. It's that's the laughable thing. And the idea was that what Batman, what Bruce tried to do by creating this theater for people to go see, you know, a beautiful play was to show that uh, not only does life have meaning, but every action has meaning, every story has meaning. And so to see that, um, that, uh, that uh, harness that was there to give people hope that there's something um, that, that is beyond, uh, you know, beyond uh, our everyday reality that, that is actually um, the legacy of our actions and the things that we do, how they reverberate through time. That's what he was trying to prove. So that's, that's kind of, I hope that answers that. Yeah, I think so. Uh, how's American Vampire coming? Um, hope you guys are well. Yeah, it's coming Good, along, right? right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I just, I just showed Mark the second script for 1976. It's good. It's got like, it's got early supercomputers and it's got satanic worship uh, from the 70s and it's got uh, train robberies and Gerald President Ford is in it and it's a lot of stuff. It brings back everything. The first Amer uh, Mimita, you know, from the arc with Jordi Brene. Like everything we've done is in it at some point. So Gus is in yeah, it. When, um, when I first read the pitch, uh, it it really channeled the very first arc we did with American Vampire and uh, answers a lot of questions done like 10 years ago. Yeah. But also pretty much gives you um, really want to do and uh uh I, jsa is absolutely one of them um i just i want to i want to switch which it this is probably gonna be my very favorite uh me too art uh story wise and art wise i'm very proud of the first issue we did oh yeah it looks great dude i love it and the the, the whole idea is with this one i feel like we've built enough that we can finally we can finally kind of bring it all together you know and the the i uh uh would you like to see dark knights as animated as an animated movie i, I think he means metal yeah sure i mean that would be cool it. i would love it yeah i mean i'm always like i love whenever anyone asks like would you like to see this as a film I'm like please sure yeah so yeah i'd love to uh, see it as animated how do you feel about the idea of people adapting something that you wrote but changing considerably i mean like yeah. different media visions do you do you feel like uh it's a problem for you it would be a problem seeing like a movie that is different than what you wrote well it depends i mean that's been going on with a couple of our things like you know i managed to option um witches and ad and uh a couple a few things so i've seen different versions of of what we've done um for tv and film and especially for animated also we've seen like court of owls and a bunch of things and my feeling is always that if it's true to core if it's true to what the story was about then i'm excited to see somebody take it and undertake it and change it and make it their own so I, i'm not really precious about it because it exists the way i always wanted it to exist as a book Like if they took American Vampires, you know it's been in different forms of development before. Watching someone take it and make it something that's their version, but still true to what we make it about, that's all that matters to me. Is like the heart's there, yeah. you know? I agree. I agree. Um, 
blah, blah, yeah. blah. Glad to see you doing well. What is the first thing you do when you start working on a character that 